Hello and welcome to Digit and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize the performance of your Victus by HP laptop. Now this laptop's model number is 16-E 0076AX and it features an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 uh, H processor that's paired with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card so that's a great uh, hardware a sort of CPU GPU combo uh, it should give you really good performance uh, the laptop also features 8 GB of RAM and a 512 GB SSD uh, the display is a 16.1 inch FHD IPS display which uh, will go up to 250 nits of brightness and uh, for speakers you've got a Bang & Olufsen uh, speaker, speaker set in this now when it comes to customizing performance of the laptop what you need to do is uh, once you've logged in uh, you need to look at this little icon down here this orange icon and this is the omen gaming hub so i'm just going to go ahead and clicking click on that and it opens up so uh, you can uh, you can actually sign in and uh, once you sign in and you can set up a profile it'll sort of track you uh, this is the home tab right now there are various other things like rewards my games but for, for the sake of this video, in order to customize the performance of this laptop, you need to go into the bottom over here, it says Victus Laptop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. Now, as soon as you click that, as you can see, there are three tabs. The first one is your System Vitals tab. Uh, as you can see, there's a toggle option for temperature. So you can toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius. I'm gonna keep it on Celsius. And it tells you my GPU utilization and temperature. So right now it's not being utilized, the temperature is 44. Celsius it tells you my CPU utilization and temperature ma'am the how much RAM is being used with actual out of the day GB how much is being used and it also gives you download and upload speeds so very useful information the next tab is something called uh, network booster and this is where you can actually uh, set priorities for uh, what app uses how much internet how much of your bandwidth so the modes that are there there's off or uh, there's auto auto it automatically prioritizes the foreground app to high and all other apps to low so i would recommend just keep it on auto whatever game you're playing in the foreground that'll get uh, a high priority so it'll get most of the internet or if you're really uh, if you're really uh, you want to play around and you want to actually uh, manually set the different priorities you can go into custom and over here you can actually manually set your priorities for each of the apps okay uh, there's also something called dual force what Dual Force does is it enables Ethernet and Wi-Fi at the same time. So again, if you're gaming, you can. Uh, it'll, it'll. I don't have an Ethernet cable plugged in, but if, if it was plugged in, I could turn this on and it'll use both Ethernet and Wi-Fi. So these are some of the features. Now, in order to customize the performance of this laptop, the tab that I really want to go into is the last one over here. It says Performance Control. So over here you can see you can optimize your performance by selecting the mode that works best for you. So there are three modes. Currently the laptop is in quiet mode and there's also a default mode and there's a performance mode. Now if I put it into performance, so what I can do also down here is it says fan speed. So right now the fan speed is set for auto. So I'm not running any game right now, I'm not doing any intensive task on this laptop. So the fans are pretty much off and they're running pretty silently. But if I wanted to, I could manually set the fans to max. Now let's take a listen. The fan should ramp up. There you go. So you can actually hear the fans sort of kicking in. Now this is the mode that you want to keep this on when you're uh, playing games on this laptop because uh, the fans are running at max. It's going to be uh, dissipating heat at the at the best capacity that it's capable of, and it's going to give you the best performance. And if you want to say you're at, you're in your office, or if you don't want to disturb anybody else around you, uh, you can switch it on to quiet mode. And even in quiet mode, you can actually have the fans running at max, or you can just switch it back to auto. And in which case, now the fans will start to ramp down. And there you go; they've gone quiet. So there you have it folks, that was how you can customize the performance of your Victus by HP laptop. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.